So this is meant to be the holy grail of whiskey. The Lagavulin 16 year old. It's just arrived from good old Amazon. The box is a bit bashed. Let's take it out of the box. It's not a great box to be honest, but a crap box. And uh, here it is. The Lagavulin 16 year old. So I will now take the top off and try this. With and without ice. I usually put ice, but I'll try it first without ice to see if I get the full flavour. So I should probably say that I don't think I've ever really had a peaty whiskey. And as I take the top off and smell the contents of this bottle, I am hit with peat and smoke. Absolutely unbelievable amount of peat and smoke. Um, so I'm guessing that's what it's going to taste like. So let's find out. Actually, before I, before I drink it, it does smell fantastic. It's really unusual. Just a touch of the white spirit about it. But with lots of other stuff going on. Well. Wow. A very unusual tasting whiskey. Unlike any of the other ones I've tasted. Unlike the sherry. Sherry cask whiskies, unlike the um, the citrusy whiskies, the non-peated, non-smoky whiskies, it's very um, it's very characterful. I, c I cannot give you taste notes. It's a bit smoky. It's a bit peaty. It almost tastes a bit like rum. It's very, very smooth. That, that's the main thing. It's very, very smooth. There's no harshness to it. It's not like a cask strength thing that kicks you in the head. Yeah, I'm going to try it with some ice and see if it changes the changes the flavour. It's so maybe not one to put ice in, you know, it's so kind of warm and, yeah. So here we have the Lagavulin with some ice. Now, I never put water in whiskey. Why would you put water in whiskey? Whiskey comes out of the cask at 62, 66, whatever it is, maybe 56 if it's been in there a long time. And then they add water to it. So to get it down to 40, 46, 43, they've added a lot of water already. So you don't need to add any more water to whiskey, otherwise it just tastes of nothing. But I do sometimes add ice because I think ice brings out citrusy flavours in non-peated, non-smoky whiskies. Um, things like the Aaron 10 year old. Uh, and the Dalwini 15, it really makes it very, very citrusy and lemony and orangey and really nice. But with this peaty, smoky whiskey, I'm not sure this, this Lag of Allen 16, I'm not sure that it needs ice. I think it's probably best just neat. But I'll put in the ice and I will now taste it with the ice. It tastes a little bit different with the ice. It's a bit fresher. My god, this is I mean I can see now why this, this whiskey's got twelve thousand uh, five star reviews on Amazon. This is a really, really nice whiskey. I'm starting to regret I bought Dalwini 15, Tobermory 12, Glenlivet 15, Avalar cask strength, Aaron cask strength over there, and the rest over there. Because I don't think you need another whiskey. This is the smoothest whiskey I've ever tasted. And I don't know if it's because of the 16 year. I've heard the 8 years about the same. But this is so smooth. This is silky smooth. This is this is something else. This is the cream of whiskies. Lagavulin 16 year. So the Lagavulin was excellent with and without ice. Um, I picked this up because I saw it in a video about a Dalwini, um, a Dalwini tour. And they use this kind of um, spirit they distill in the uh, winter time in the cold that they don't think is good enough for their normal 15 year old. 
and they make this winter's gold it's called so I'm not going to open this and try this before I give up drinking whiskey for the night because I'm not a drinker and it goes right in my head and uh, let's just quickly try this winter's gold just out of curiosity it's a nice colour, but as Ian MacArthur at uh, Lagavulin Distillery says, never judge a whisky by its colour. A bit like judging a book by its cover, I suppose. I'm not expecting much for this. Uh, it's called the um, the Gentle Spirit Created by the Cold. I mean, it's a lot cheaper than the likes of Lagavulin or Aberwell or 16, so I have no idea what it's going to be like. There's a wee bit of ice left in the glass. Uh, let's just see what it smells like. It smells really smooth actually, really smooth. It almost reminds me of Southern Comfort. Well, it's very, very smooth. Um, this doesn't have an age on it. It's not like a 10 year old or a, I think it might even be a, it says single malt, but it might be a blend of different casks or something. Um, I don't know if it's finished in sherry or, but it's definitely not an old whiskey, or it would say, I presume. Well, I'm surprised. That, that's delicious. Um, there's no ice in that. That's totally neat. I don't know what sort of strength it is. Let's see if it says what strength it is. I can't see what it is. I guess it's 40. 43 maybe. Anyway, uh, maybe it says on the back. Hold on. Let's, uh, let's see if it tells us here. Um, no, it doesn't seem to say, does it? Bit weird. Anyway, there we are. Um, surprisingly smooth whiskey for uh, something which doesn't have an age and isn't. I don't know if it's sherry, sherry cast or not. Gosh, that is really, really good. Just shows you, yeah, you've got to try them all to find out what you like. That is so smooth. So I've just looked up the uh, ABV, it's it's 43%. It's the same as the 16-year-old Lagavulin. It's half the price of the 16-year-old Lagavulin. It's really quite a cheap malt whiskey. And again, although I thought the Lagavulin was superb, I think value for money-wise, this is the winner. This is really superb. Darwinny Winter's Gold. So I'm a great experimenter. I love to try things out and... Uh, this Dalwini Winter's Gold really impressed me uh, when I drank it neat. A really smooth whiskey. Now because I, I always put ice in my whiskey, but I'm changing. I'm, I'm thinking maybe it's better neat. But I have put some ice in to see if it changes the characteristic of the Winter's Gold, which is, after all is made in winter. It's made in the highest distillery in Scotland, the Dalwini Distillery. On the way to Inverness up the A9 there. You know, lagging. Um, partly they make this, they make this spirit because the winter spirit they don't think is good enough for their their fifteen year old. Anyway, let's try it with the ice. Does it taste different? As usual, the ice brings out citrus flavors. Tangerine. Lemon zest, apricot. Very, very fruity now. That is a really, really wonderful whiskey. For the price, this is probably the best value whiskey there is, apart from the Iron 10 year old. But the Iron 10 year olds, maybe a wee bit rougher than this. Maybe a wee bit more citrusy. This is absolutely superb. This is amber nectar. Winter's gold. Darwinny.